Welcome everyone to a new balance patch video. In this one I'm going to go over another one of the Street Fighter V newcomers, Lucia. As you may know, Lucia is a Final Fight character that made it into this game. And although her game plan is not too complicated on top of having a bunch of cool combo routes to boot, she didn't seem to have garnered much of a following at all. It is unclear to me whether it is because people think she's weak or not, many just didn't give her a chance. Let's check out what the devs thought of her situation. Steady Heavy Kick got its hurtboxes changed. Now the move will be better at avoiding lows right before it becomes active. However, the foot hurtbox reappears once the active frames start, unlike before, making it easier to whiff punish. Crushing Light Punch is now plus 4 on hit, up from plus 3. Notably, this makes it possible to combo a standing Light Punch. Staying Light Punch has better returns on hit, both comboing into heavy DP or target combo, as well as having more range. On top of that, Crouching Light Punch itself now combos into her Fireball, as well as its CX version. Because this is the only normal that links out of her round tackle, it can add some extra damage to her combos, as well as some ulti. Crouching Light Kick now has reduced pushback. On top of making your low confirms more consistent, you are now close enough to combo into her Fireball, which can let you convert into V Trigger. Her Light Punch, Light Kick, Medium Kick, Heavy Kick, Heavy Kick target combo is now super cancelable. Previously, Lucia didn't have many ways of comboing into Super from her lights, as her DP is not cancelable. So this will help with her confirms, although the critical art will be quite scaled. Nubbing Needle is Lucia's run Visco 2 attack. It now has two extra active frames, which will let you make it even more plus if correctly spaced. On top of that, the normal version has less pushback, as well as increased combo potential in jungles, leading to some better follow-ups after landing. The EX version of Nubby Needle, specifically during V-Trigger 1, now has a special effect. Instead of just knocking the opponent down, it now bounces them on the ground letting Lucia follow up for extra damage and giving this move more meaningful uses during the trigger time. Cyclone Spinner is the run v skill 1 attack. Now the second attack can be cancelled into a 3 bar v trigger 1 activation, leading to plus frames on block and a juggle on hit. The EX version of the same move can be cancelled into a 2 bar V Trigger 2 instead, both for the activation and the special move version. This means it can be used as a combo extender for 1 EX bar, as you can then continue juggling afterwards. In a very similar fashion to the previous changes, Rough Chase, Lucia's run shoulder tackle, is now V Trigger cancelable into V Trigger 1, while the EX version can be cancelled into V Trigger 2 activation and special move. Just like the Cyclone Spinner, this is a forward advancing attack, and unlike the aforementioned move, it is always available to Lucia, regardless of the skill pick. The v Trigger Team Special Attack also got some extra range, which will help with these new combos as well as general consistency. Light Fire Spinner, Lucia's Flame Kick, is now plus 2 on hit, up from 0. This is the fastest normal version of her Flame Kick, which combos from Crouching Medium Kick. On top of that, you will be able to get a combo on counter hit if you land it at the right ranges. Medium Fire Spinner, which used to be the plus 2 on hit version, now knocks down instead. This one combos from Lucia's other mediums, so it can be used for counter poking in neutral as it has great horizontal range. The EX Fire Spinner, as well as the V Trigger 1 version, is now faster at 13 frames of startup, as well as having better hitboxes and more consistent knockdowns. It will combo reliably from crutching medium kick, even on a late cancel and in general will be faster in neutral, like for example when used in combination with her Fireball, making it harder to react to. Lucia's DP, Hurricane Spinner, now has two less frames of recovery. What this means is that you get better Oki on both Quick Rise and especially Back Rise, which will give players more leeway in chasing down the wake up by walking after it. The V Trigger 1 version of the attack now has more horizontal range as well. This is mostly for combos and juggles, as the V-Trigger version doesn't actually move forward, much like the non-V-Trigger EX version. With the buff it should be more consistent in general. v 1 now has the same animation on hit and block, where Lucia does a backfist on the opponent. As a result, Lucia is much closer and easier to punish. It was also made only minus 4, up from minus 8, so at least it won't be as bad if it gets blocked. It can however be V-Trigger or CA cancelled on the last hit now, 
This can let you save yourself from a punish and turn the situation to your advantage with V Trigger. Or pull the trigger on the super in case it hits the opponent. Lucia got quite a long list of changes for this final patch. Out of all the characters we covered so far, she's definitely one of the least popular. At least if we look at the amount of players. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not even sure why that would be, as the character on paper doesn't look bad, now less than ever. Hopefully the bust will make people give her another spin, as there's quite a lot to unwrap here, with fun new tools to experiment with. I look forward to seeing more of her in tournaments in the future, as I think she's pretty fun to watch. What did you guys think about the changes, or about Lucia in general for that matter? Let me know in the comments below. More videos are coming soon to a Vesper Arcade channel near you, so make sure to stay tuned if you enjoy our content, and I'll see you all next time!